hesitates to attack the royal family for fear of retaliation. The mysterious character has appeared. Hello friends, welcome to the royal breaking news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. A trusted source has revealed a secret about why Harry and Meghan have not dared to slam the royal family for the past four years. Hypocrites can't harm the royal family as long as one figure with close ties to the Queen exists, Angela Kelly. This comes amid speculation that Ms. Kelly, who has one book left of a three-book deal, could reveal explosive details about the couple and their relationship with the Queen. Netizens were extremely excited about this royal revelation, expressing, I hope Miss Kelly does. These two need a good scare. They have made their millions from the books and interviews about the royal family that she has no respect or regard for. Harry is too weak to stand up to narcissistic Meghan. The pair is a disgrace. The way they bullied and treated people, they shouldn't be allowed to get away with it. Strip their titles. They are an embarrassment to the UK. She is wicked and he is weak. Angela Kelly tells all in her book. She obviously was very close to the Queen and privy to lots of family secrets. Harry and Meghan should be afraid. This woman could finally tell the world the truth about their dealings with our late well-loved monarch. The hypocrites have got it coming and the sooner the better. Karma is headed their way. This will be why fans put their absolute trust in Kelly, Queen Elizabeth II's personal outfit. Angela Kelly was fiercely loyal to our queen, so there will be nothing in whatever she writes that will reflect badly on her. Just wondering if she might hold back anything judgmental against the hypocrites, out of respect for the queen, as well as concern for the effect any damaging revelations re the hypocrites, specifically Harry, would have on Charles. Harry is his son, after all, and though he might not like or approve of how badly he's behaved since linking up with the Harridan, he still loves Harry at the end of the day. Charles is definitely walking on emotional tightrope between the feeling of the vast majority of Brits toward the hypocrites and his own sadness over the ever-widening chasm in the family, thanks entirely to the despicable, self-entitled divisiveness of Harry's wife and her total control and coercion of him. We all know what a total liar and disrespectful Harry are, let alone Meghan, to who he's married. Unfortunately, King Charles appears to be torn between being the monarch we all expect and need him to be, and the daddy of a spoiled, pampered, and tantrum-throwing son, who, quite frankly, needs a thick ear and a mouthful, at least. It appears King Charles is in daddy mode. If this situation isn't dealt with properly, and very soon, I can see the British public losing any respect for King Charles with so many people worrying, struggling, and going without. Pandering to Harry and Meghan will only compress a potentially volatile situation, a royal expert giving their unwanted opinion again. How many of these royal experts are there? What qualifications do you need to be one? Oh, you don't need any. Did I hear someone say, Well, I hope Miss Kelly does tell us all what she thinks of this vile pair and what they put the Queen and Prince Philip through before they died. The Markle woman marrying dimwit Harry is the worst thing that's happened to the royal family even more so than Andrew. At least he didn't trash his family and continues to do so. Charles is weak. He should strip them of their titles. They don't live in the UK anymore and they are making money out of their titles. If I lived in Sussex, I would get a petition going and send it to King Charles saying, we are ashamed of them and want them stripped of their titles. We don't want them using the name of our country. I feel and hope karma is just around the corner, especially if they accept that stupid award. This may be the way the royals tell their story without being seen to speak out. 
This book, and especially the one released by Giles Brandleth, tells us details we have not been told so far. To me, is maybe the way they can tell the truth, but stay silent in doing so. After all, do you think Mr. Brandreth, a friend for years of Prince Philip, would risk his relationship with the royals by telling lies? I doubt the royals would have allowed the story of the queen having cancer to run either. It would have been removed quickly, smart. Maybe the royals are starting to speak out, just through other people, instead of doing it themselves, which is understandable if it is the case. The queen had the right to die like she wanted, if she didn't want the people to know she had cancer, because they might think she was unfit to carry, or whatever was her right, either way, she had the right to die her way. And about the hypocrites, I hope someone tells it all in a book about how worthless they are and how much of a disgrace they were to the royal family. How Harry would lie to the queen and talk her into covering up things for them. Maybe then we can see them stripped down from titles and from anything to do with the royal family, and we can finally be done with hearing about them. They will be nothing more than bad memories for us all. No more seeing what scam they're up to next to make money. It is good people are starting to speak out since the Queen passed. I think we will start to see the truth come out now. It may even be the royal family is using people like Giles Brandreth and this lady to put their side of the story out without being seen as having to do it directly. This lady does it with the permission of the late queen, and I am sure Mr. Brandreth would have been granted permission also before writing such intimate details. After all, I cannot see this lady or Giles Brandreth, who has a relationship with the royal family for years, risking their connections by telling lies and assumptions. The gloves are off now. It's going to get interesting said one commenter, I don't think Angela would ever say anything negative about the queen, and I'm sure there isn't really anything negative many could say about her. I'm sure he will. Just remember he's only been king for less than three months. He's got a lot to do and catch up with, and things like the title for Edward and Sophie are not the high priority right now, but he'll do it at some point. The most important titles can be conferred immediately, they were the Wales titles mostly because of the duchy and such. The others aren't an urgent matter. I think Charles knows what a gem Angela was to his mother, and he wouldn't go against her wishes. He knows Angela has been very loyal to his mother and the monarchy. What do you think of this remarkable royal revelation? Is Angela Kelly really the one who creates particular fear for Harry and Meghan, and who can protect the royal family as she did the queen? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the video if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.